Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Guru Mad Streams, your custom prisons. Today we're doing a little prison called Bridgetown by very own Dark Dragon One. And it says, Welcome to Bridgetown. Not a very creative name, but the prison itself is pretty creative. Gordon didn't have a lot of money to spare, so instead he bought instead of a boat, he came up with this. Bridges hooking up a lot of prison and fencing, keeping the sharks away. Ooh, nice, I like it. Uh, so I, I've been streaming at uh, different hours. I'm streaming like super early compared to what I have been. So I don't know if anyone's actually going to show up for chat. Yeah, I'll just be brutally honest. Um, yeah. And then again, of course, sometimes chat is a little wiggy. So even if you're there, sometimes I don't see you. But it's been good lately. I also started streaming earlier without actually... Um, like I didn't have the stream on I'll be honest I forgot to load up OBS studio and so I loaded up the game and started streaming and was like I hope this is working because I don't actually know and I've properly hit OBS studio to start streaming sometimes and it's a little awkward in fact I'm actually gonna check it right now so what I'm gonna try to do is switch the scene see if this works and then we're going to try and look at OBS Studio. Uh, well, you guys get to see my background. So let's try to switch the scene. It doesn't switch over. To, see, this is what it's supposed to do. Switch over to here. Alright, well anyway. Uh, I am streaming, so that's a good thing. Hey there, MC Jax. You are first. I am just... Doing my best, but we figured it out. All right, so we're gonna have a look around the map. We're gonna make sure that first off, are there any sniper towers on the map? Um, it, it looks like we're having a lot of lake area anyway, so we'll have to figure out what to do around that. But if there's no sniper towers, like I saw on the on the picture that they had, he had like a several of these, and then an exit uh, escape over there. Hmm, but it looks like no snipers on the map. Should be good for cutting during the day. And I'm currently streaming at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Which was pretty much unthinkable when I was on the West Coast. That's like 6 in the morning. Uh, so it, it's uh, very different from what I normally stream. Uh, I'm trying it out. Uh, let's see. Generator room. A little nice social area. I kind of like this a lot, actually. And it looks like... Okay, well, you don't need to go through this in order to get over here. But it's what I'm kind of looking at. I'm thinking this might be the only exit. Yeah, this, this might be the only escape available. Because I don't really see any actual... Like, any actual paths to the perimeter. So we're just going to have to go for that. Yeah, it looks like... But that's not too difficult. Uh, the biggest thing is we're definitely going to be wanting to get um, a red key. We're, or at least a, a red key mold made. Like, normally I just try to grab the red key and run. I is definitely not going to be able to do that today. Uh, well, at least, I don't know. Like, it would be very chancy, I think. You could grab it and run, but then you just get caught eventually anyway. Now, the real trick is, are there any libraries anywhere like I gotta get my intellect up man where do we go where do we go hmm okay so that's contraband rare area that's kind of nice oh man is there like no libraries to study at oh thank goodness I have been on a map where they did not actually have a library you could get into without getting a red key. Which would have been totally ridiculous. And I think it was hard too. So you started at intellect of 20. So you'd have to literally steal a red key just to get inside and start using their books. And of course you'd get caught eventually by the dogs anyway. So it'd be like, just going back and forth, getting caught, stealing a red key, getting caught, stealing a red key. That would have taken forever. Alright, uh, let's see. It's still free time. So I don't have to worry about too much right now. I 
I want to get at least like a 60 intellect if I can do it. Um, Alakan says, Ayo, hey there, Al. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, I'm just uh, getting my intellect up. Hmm, I kind of like the aesthetic though. Like, I really love prisons on islands, I think they're a lot of fun, and it's just really cool. Like, I'm currently living on a canal, and so I love the water. Alright, uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna be definitely stealing a guard uniform and checking out this area over here. I might be able to even find a red key without having to make one myself, which would be super nice. That means all I would really need to do is give myself a pair of cutters and get ready to go that way. Alright, alright. Get yeah, almost there. I got almost managed to do this in one sitting, but I don't think I'm gonna have the energy for it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down for a little bit. Hey guys, how you doing? How's life? Al says I won't be on Saturday morning cause streams cause and not s I won't be on Saturday morning streams and not on Sunday morning cause of school. Ah, uh, that's understandable. Yeah, definitely prioritize school over YouTube. And then uh, MC Jack says no school hype. Awesome. It's sometimes fun not to have school. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and check into my delightful lunch time. It's not breakfast breakfast anymore, it is lunch. Uh, people sometimes ask me what's my favorite food. Well, I like my favorite time of the day to eat is definitely lunch. Most of my favorite foods tend to be lunch foods. Like I like my sandwiches. I, I really enjoy a lot of the stuff you got available. Alright, so Officer Bray, I'm gonna have to beat you up, sir. I want your uniform. Alright, we got him. Ooh, he actually had some pretty good stuff there. Alright. Go ahead and put these around. You know what, let's move our desk a little bit. Just so I don't have to run all the way over there again. Uh, and then I'll just put these outside. In case I need them later. MC Jack says, what kind of chocolate do you prefer? I do prefer my milk chocolate. I really like it. it. It's tasty. People sometimes say that they really like the dark chocolate, but I'm like, what's the point? Like, sweetness is the point for candy. Alright, let's get beat up. Get rid of our heat. Al says, right Twix or left Twix? Right Twix all the way, man. That left, left Twix is kind of shifty. Oh, <laughs> don't throw your phone at the wall, Chase Brown, but... I'm glad your internet commu uh, internet connection issues have been resolved. Chase Brown is actually the creator of this map. He is known as Dark Dragon One on Steam. MC Jax asks, "What's the difference between the left Twix and the right Twix?" Um, absolutely nothing. They just they made that as part of their like marketing campaign. Was like, left Twix is better. No, right Twix is better. They made it like two different brothers had two different factories producing left Twix and right Twix. They're the same. They're just put in the same area. Alright, so we'll throw those both down there. I might make myself my infirmary outfit later. And Chase Brown asks, is it too late for me to join? Ah, uh, sure, sure, man. You can come in. You made the map. I generally don't typically have people joining me for uh, games not on Saturdays, but... I make exceptions for people who actually create the map. Oh no, I put it on public. I meant private. There we go. Invite him in. Al says he wants to play Fortnite. Not me. Fortnite scares me. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't terribly scare me. It's just one of those games where, unless you put in the time and hours to, like, master. It feels like you're some small child, like you're a baby club seal. It just it doesn't work out very well. So we did get some lightweight cutters. That's really nice. I'll go ahead and grab the lighters because we're going to need at least one for making our key mold. Hello there, Dark Dragon One.
So, uh, I think next step is trying to beat up guards to see who has the red key. And, uh, at least we got ourselves a bit more resources. Oh, you know what? We should go through desks. I have not checked any of the other desks to see if there's anything good. We should get on that. Alas, where's the escape? It is a... It's a ski -doo over here. Or a jet ski, I guess it would be. It's past this area. It's, it's behind all these fencing over here. Basically need a red key or maybe just go through the wall, which we might end up doing since there's more than one of us. And it might actually be easier just to build ourselves a some sort of, or maybe buy a, like a iron bar or a crowbar. Uh, I went the wrong way. Oh no, he was smart. He made it so you can't actually go through the sides here. You have to go through the, the door. Yep. Alright. Hey there. Dab dab. MC Jax, you were so close to joining when I was on public. Yeah, too late. Too late. Alright, one of the things about this prison is there's not actually a whole lot of desks to go through. Uh, but luckily, we managed to get some goodies. And I should check out dinner time just to make sure. Okay. Maybe I should work at doing some favors as well, get some cash. Oop, nope. That's what I wanted. Alright, I'm I'm just being very lazy. I normally love to have my out like my area a little bit more lo lovely looking, like I'm actually now just like, you know what, I should police this slightly. Uh, just because it's a lot easier to see what you have and what's available to use. So we can see right now I can make myself two things of uh, plastic, molten plastic, but I don't have enough to make myself putty. So I need to find at least one toothpaste. A dragon everyone said I made an edit to add an extra fence. It was originally two fences, but I made it harder. How do you like the design? I like the design. And three fences does mean we do need to make sure we carry at least well what we got. I have a pair of cutters and a file. Uh, lightweight cutters go through at least two fences, and uh, I might need at least one more file to get through that last fence. Al says, sometimes I think guards are marrying me when they see them saying engaging suspect. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I've never thought of that, but that's great. I love it. Engaging suspect. Maybe they're engaging you to someone else. You never think of that? Hmm? Alright, let's beat the bully. It'll get us some duct tape at least. That's kind of what I was aiming for anyway. Alright, we got the duct tape. Another file, some energy drinks, and, and we already have enough talcum powder, so... Don't really worry about that too much. Uh, still never can pass my... I, I, I always love bleach. It's like, why not? And I'm thinking if we do this beatdown, we'll actually have enough to buy a crowbar or something. I'm, wait, what am I thinking? I don't actually need a crowbar. Maybe some more files, I don't know. Alright. We got ourselves a roll of duct tape. We can use it to increase... Increase the cutters. There we are. So that'll get us through everything. Let's go ahead and put all the bleach over here. Along with the uniform that I can turn into an outfit. All our energy stuff right there. So we are just totally bumpkiss on finding any sort of toothpaste. Ah, uh, that's gonna be an issue. So, MC Jack says, Am I the only person who just does quests where you can craft items just for the materials and make something else? No, no you're not. Uh, that is actually one of the things about quests that people forget is there are 
one of the ways that you get resources. A very important way to get resources as well. Uh, like you just saw right there, I did it just to get some duct tape. Alright, so fences everywhere. They're all hanging out over the water, which is makes me laugh. Um, I was already over here. Yeah, I don't think we have any extra desks we can go through. I think we're just going to have to try and find prisoners that are giving out favors. Hopefully do them, get what we need. Uh, let's see, Al says, I, I, I played solo for eight hours in Fortnite and no wins. Ouch. Yeah, that sounds like it. That sounds like Fortnite to me. How much money do I have? I have zero money. I have none of the money. Uh, I, I had like one quest where I was supposed to beat up someone that I forgot about, so... You know what, let's go do that now. Uh, I do have a baton, so... Alright, I guess I can just pick up this baton that was just hanging out over here. I prefer at least some sort of weapon rather than fighting with my fists when I can. There we go. See, that was easy. Uh, did you have anything? Nope. Yeah, your weapon was a cup, teacup. That's awesome. Hey there, Reiner Gashi slash meat. It's good to have you here, man. Alright, so uh, what am I thinking? I'm thinking we're probably not going to finish this up during the day, so I kind of want to beat up a bunch of guys just to see who has the red key. Maybe go ahead and steal a little bit more adrenaline shots. Alright, one, two, three. Oh, sweet. He had the red key. So now we know. Probably go to bed, make sure that we get enough sleep. Got more duct tape. Which is for a quest that he has. Oh, he didn't... See, the issue is he didn't drop the quest while he had it in his inventory. And now I can't use it to craft anything and unless he gets it out himself. So I'm going to have to give it to him next morning. And if he quits the quest while it's not in his inventory, it just vanishes. Oh, is this guard going to, like, be angry? Nope, he didn't see me. MC Jack says, I hate whenever the icons in the minimap overlap. It looks like it says it's downstairs even though it's not. I agree. That can be frustrating at times. But it is the next day, my heat is died down to nothing. And we gotta go through desks. We gotta find some more toothpaste. Like, two things of toothpaste is what we really need. And I do not need more talcum powder. I don't even think I need roll of foil for anything. Uh, I'm gonna put the duct tape in my desk area. So you can get that back. Oh, and he's getting chased already. Oh, what do you need help, man? He says he needs help. Where is he going? What's he doing? I want to help. Let's see if I can cut him off of the pass. No. I forgot this is a dead end. Did he manage to get himself into a locker? Alright. Well, he's all the way over that way. I'm going to head up breakfast. Alright, um... I did finish a quest, so... I do have 40 gold. I don't actually need anything, however. I really just need the toothpaste. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could just keep piling on files. Maybe make myself some more cutters for uh, 
Dark Dragon one. And this is kind of the sad part about Red Doors. If you do not have the necessary stuff to make keys, you kind of have to wait till another day or something. Oh, cool. We found some toothpaste. At least one. So that's nice. Alright, uh, do, 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 no. Let's see. Reiner guy, she says, is a neat new. Oh, cool, we found two! New, new Team Fortress 2 hack called Catbots? Saw 3? Oh, that's a bummer. I'm not a huge fan of cheating. I kind of think it defeats the purpose of the game. Alright. So we now have in our possession two things of putty. I should be able to knock out someone, get the key, get those molds back into my desk. Now that I look at this, I'm like, maybe I should move this around so I have enough space for it. And then we should be able to get going. Honestly, as long as we get enough keys ready to go. Uh, there's no sniper's hours, so we can go during the middle of the day. Just need to figure out where the heck the guy is with the red key. Now, I know these guys typically need anything. No, Dark Dragon 1, we should be fine. I think as long as we get the red key guy. Actually, you know what? If you could get over here and not fight, but uh, just help me with the red key. Like, I'll fight and then get the red keys and then drop them. Oh, man. Okay, so... Good thing I waited and checked to see if there's anyone else around, because that would not have been a fun start to the day. Alright, so... No, don't fight, is what I said. Oh well. Anyway, we got that done. I'm going to try and sneak my way back to my desk. Is Jet Ski a, a, jet ski a single escape? I don't know. We're going to have to try that out. Uh, but we managed to get the red key molds. Uh, let's go ahead and make the red keys themselves. Alright. So we have red keys enough for both of us. I'm going to hand him... I kind of want to keep this on me for self-defense, but I'm going to hand him uh, a couple of files. We'll just grab these, get going, sneak around, try not to get spotted. We're not worried too much about anything else like... Here we go, drop that there. Yeah, we should be able to get through this just fine before the end of lunch. And I do want to drop that down just so that he'll have that available. Eh, we will be good. We'll be good. Da da da. And. Oh, looks like we were able to do it. So that was Bridgetown by Dark Dragon One, aka Young Buck, aka Chase Brown. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to hit that like button. It really helps me out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when I'm live. And if you want to let me know what you think, just leave a comment in the section below. I love to respond to them and I love to read them. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, good luck escaping. <laughs>